So guys, in this video, I'm going to talk about five note taking apps that I think have a very different and unique approach to note taking. And the first one in on the list is called bundled notes. And it's probably my favorite in the entire list. So these are bundles. Now think of bundles like notebooks, and then each notebook can have tags, chapters, or categories, which you can add or edit. And creating a notebook is really simple. Just tap on that plus button, and then you can choose a template or a style. And you can use these bundles to create notes, tasks, lists, and even reminders. Let's take them one by one. First is notes. So you can obviously create a note, add a heading, assign it to a category, or create a new one, and then start writing content. When adding content, you can have different formatting styles, and every note can also have its own reminder, which could be a one-off, recurring, or a permanent one. And the priority of the alert will determine how you will be notified, which I think is a fabulous feature. And just look at all the formatting options that are available to you when you're trying to take down a note, including numbered items and checklists. So that was notes, but you can also do lists. Now let's take my movie list, which has a bunch of categories like content I want to watch, I am watching, or I'm done watching. And these categories can be turned on or off as toggles to narrow down your list. And finally, I can create tasks. So I have one here for work, which I could have three projects under, and each project can have its own set of tasks. And there are multiple ways that you can view your tasks. So, you know, the app is very customizable that way. And depending on what you prefer, you can set it accordingly. And you can also configure your categories in a way that if you tap on a task, it moves to another category and then tap again to go into another category. There's also themes enabled within the app. So you can choose between dark and light. And guys, before we move on to the next, if you've not already subscribed to my channel, it would mean so much to me if you could just subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification icon. It really helps me sustain and grow the channel even more. And now let's move on. Simpan is an extremely minimal and a very functional note taking app that allows you to save links, create plans or schedules, simple text notes, and even create task lists. Now, here are some links that I saved over a period of time. So let's say you're reading something you enjoy and you want to save it for later. Just tap on share and then select Simpan from the options and the link will automatically be saved. You can also create plans. So you can just pick the date, add a plan along with a reminder and then forget about it. I think it's a great way to just organize your day and tasks as well. And it's nothing different than a calendar, actually. It would have been really good, though, to be able to sync your account calendars like Google or Microsoft in here. But I guess that would make this a little complicated. All in all, I really like how they've approached this, you know, create your plan for the day sort of thing. You can also create different task lists and each list will have tasks, obviously. So as you complete them, you can see the progress of that task list up front. I think that's again, really great. And of course, you can create simple text based notes along with a search functionality that will let you search through those notes. Now the app can be protected with a fingerprint. So only you can open it. And while the app is worth almost about two and a half dollars, I do have 30 promo codes to give away to you guys. So make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Instagram and DM me there asking me for promo codes to Simpan. The next app is called Transno. Now you can use this app to create to do lists or schedules or brainstorming sessions and even meeting minutes. Now the app is quite well rounded and in my opinion works best for people who are trying to manage a lot of work related stuff. Now you can use it as a checklist tool to manage schedules or to-do lists or even shopping lists. You can also use Transnode to create schedules by the date, week or month. And this is where options like expand and collapse can really help focus in the moment and then check items as you're done with them. If not, you can just drag and drop them in the next set. The use of emojis makes this easier to understand and also not make it look boring. By the way, every individual item that you add in itself could be a note and it allows you to add more content like checklists or images and even format text in various ways. The app is completely free and could be very useful to those who learn how to use it daily and efficiently. The next app in the list is called Idea Note and it's probably one of the fastest ways to create and view your to-dos and tasks. So it's a simple gesture from the right side of your screen and then you can create a note or a task and it's as simple as that. You can also add reminders to your notes and tasks and even add images if you'd like. You can take down voice notes and it's really simple as just push of a button. And then you can also see all your tasks in expanded view from within the home screen without going into the app. 
And the last one in the list is the Google Voice Recorder. And the reason it's there is because you can simply speak out your note and it will transcribe that into text, which is easily, you know, available for you to search within or copy and paste and share with anyone else. So you just stop your recording, save it and you can keep it. And here's what's mind blowing. You can actually search for a word within the audio recording and it will show it to you exactly where it was spoken. Now, the app is not available for all phones on the Play Store, but I will leave a link down to get the APK, which you can then install, uh, sideload into your phone, and you can just install that. And that's it, guys. Those were five apps that I felt approached note-taking in a very different and their own unique way, yet very useful. Now, don't get me wrong. I do think apps like Microsoft OneNote and Trello and Evernote are really powerful and, you know, in the way they let you write notes, organize them, and sync them across devices. I just think that they're too feature-loaded and comprehensive for the average note-taker and could be a little bit overwhelming. And that's where these apps that sort of narrow it down to very specialized way of taking notes, and that could match your style or your vision of how you wish to take notes. Anyway, I hope that this was all helpful, and if you've got any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. And as always, do not forget to like the video, subscribe to my channel, and hit that bell notification icon. I'll see you guys in the next one.